Hello and welcome to CloudBees. This is the first of two videos. The first video will cover LDAP integration and single sign-on. Then we'll do a follow-up video on role-based access control. This is for CloudBees CI. If you're following along in our onboarding for CloudBees CI on traditional platforms, we've assumed that you've already got an end operation center and a client master installed and we assume that you've already connected those two that's how our environment will start here in this presentation for our LDAP we will be using an open LDAP installation I've got a front end of PHP LDAP admin here that will give you a nice graphical overview we've got a set of groups here admins and devs and a set of users in those groups and we'll be focusing on the B admins and devs and the associated users. Over here, I have my operation center with a team for Team B. And then down in Team B, I've got my own controller client master. So let's get started. Working backwards here, we'll notice that these are all managed by a local administrator from the local CloudBees uh, user database. This is what we'll be replacing with admin, LDAP. And you will see that this admin will change to a cluster admin once we get the user started. So this is the local admin administrator that we did at setup time. So we'll go here on our operation center into Manage Jenkins. We will click Configure Global Security. And then we'll click LDAP. We're immediately presented with a, hey, I need an LDAP server dialog. And we'll click here to add some more information. Now, the way this works is, is as, as you type things in and complete the field, uh, CloudBees CI will actually check the values and see if they can use them or not, see if they're correct. So to show you how that works, if I go to my open LDAP server, and instead of using the standard LDAP port of 389, I use 398. Notice that uh, still doesn't make it happy. But if I come back here and go to 389, then the error goes away. I need a root DN. And you'll see that matches that. And then I can apply my changes. Go down here and test my LDAP setting. Then I'll test it out with the administrator that I'm going to be using. And you can see from the bottom of the screen here that my authentication was successful. Save it. Log out. And while I'm at it, I'll go over here and log out of my client master controller and get rid of that screen. Now I'll log back in as cluster admin. I can type. And notice I'm in as cluster admin. Now I haven't set up the single sign-on yet, so I'll do that next. And from there, uh, I should be able to hit this with the same username. So I'll go over here into Manage Jenkins, Configure Global Security. I'll scroll down here to Client Master Security. And I'll do single sign-on using the Security Realm and Authorization Strategy. Save that. And then go here and just follow the trail from here to here. Notice I'm now on my client master as cluster admin and I'm back at my operation center cluster admin. And that is LDAP integration and single sign-on with CloudBees CI on traditional platforms. I thank you for watching.